Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I am your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you're out there and you love this and you want some extra tips and tricks on how to improve your mindset, go ahead and go to mondayemail.com right now. Once again, mondayemail.com. Every Monday, I send out an email with some tips and tricks of how to improve your mindset, to improve your life, to improve your business, to improve your relationships. So if you want to join us, it is absolutely free. Once again, it's mondayemail.com. Today, we're going to be talking about just suffering a little bit. I'm going to talk about one way to have massive growth in 2023. I was talking with a friend of mine and uh, he's done, you know, quite a bit of growth. And he was talking about how he's trying to get to the next level. He's done courses. He's hired a coach. And he was asking himself, like he's asking me, like, what is the next level? How do I get to the next level? And uh, what I told him was the idea of actually suffering. And uh, he was like, I don't really know what you mean by that. And I was like, well, I know him really well. I've known him for years and years and years. And I said, you know what? I, when you look at the growth that you've had and how you've been working on yourself, it is good, but it hasn't been that hard. And most of your growth has actually been, I would say, more knowledge based, more than it's been actual physical or emotional growth. And uh, it's been knowledge based. It's been courses. It's been reading books. It's been talking to somebody else. But there hasn't been any like applied suffering. I like to call like. And what I mean is, is finding the edge of your comfort zone and pushing past it, pushing for the sake of nothing else, but pushing. And he doesn't like restriction. He doesn't like to be restricted. He likes freedom. And so I told him that staying away from restriction is actually keeping him from being free. And he likes to, you know, to, to have no restriction and do what he wants. And he set up a job to make sure that he's that way. And I said, listen, you think that you don't want restriction and that not having restriction is going to make you free, but restricting yourself for the sake of actually just restricting yourself is going to make you more free. And he's like, I don't understand what that is. And so we started talking about, it. I'll tell you about what I mean by that, but he thinks he's free. But when you hate to avoid something, you're not free. And so he's not mentally free from what he feels around restriction. And so the next level of it for him, the next level of freedom is to actually make himself become okay with restriction, become okay with feeling like I don't want to fucking do this, but doing it anyways. That's where you actually find another level of freedom. And so he's been working on, on creating that. And basically the idea is doing what you don't want to do because on the other side of that is growth. Because when you don't want to do something, and it feels restrictive and you go past that, you find another level of your freedom outside of your comfort zone. And so when you, you know, there's a, a intersection of like the gut and the brain, the gut feels like you should do it, but the brain doesn't want to do it. So your gut's like, man, I should definitely like, I'll use cold plunging as an example because people hate cold plunges. I hate cold plunges, but I also love the way that I feel after cold plunges. Like I've done hundreds and hundreds of sessions of cold showers and cold plunges. I have a cold plunge in my garage. I've, I've done hundreds of sessions and even thinking about doing it makes me be like, mm, fuck that. Like <laughs> I just don't like it, but I do like coming in contact with a little inner bitch that says, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And doing it anyways. And so the gut feels like, man, you should definitely do this. It'll make you feel better. It'll wake you up. It'll help reduce your inflammation. It will it'll be able to push you past your comfort and you can find another version of yourself after. But the brain's like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Why? Because the brain is a safety mechanism and your growth is on the other side. Your next level of growth most likely is on the other side of what you don't want to do. I'll use cold showers as an example again. If you just do it for 30 to 60 days straight, you'll find a version of you and we could use cold showers as an example, but I'll, I'll use other examples as well. It could be like working out. It could be a new diet. It could be meditating because you're too anxious. It could be, you don't think, you know, you're thinking too much, you're emotional and you, st you journal every single day. So like journaling could be a part of it. Meditation could be a part of it. A diet could be a part of it. Cold showers could be a part of it. Working out could be a part of it. Whatever it is, pick one thing and say, I'm going to do this thing for the next 30 days. Or I'm going to do this thing for the next 60 days. So let's just say, Let's use cold showers as an example and use another example as well. Cold showers as an example. And you say, I'm going to do this thing no matter what for the next 30 days. And you just freaking do it. And you do, you just, as long as you do that thing, you have accomplished what you needed to for the day. If cold showers are your thing and you do it for 30 days, you're going to notice at the end of those 30 days, a different version of you mentally. 
physically you'll be different. All these things will be different, but mentally is what I really care about. The, and it'll be a version of you that when you feel resistance, it's easier to execute because you're going to feel resistance a lot of times in your life with relationships, with starting your business, with many different things. And when you can feel this resistance and do it anyways, and make that a mental muscle, there's a new version of you on the other side of that. Let's use another example. That's cold showers. Let's say working out. You know, for me, I worked out this morning. And if I'm being honest with you, I say this basically every time I talk about working out. I didn't want to work out this morning. It's just, I was just not excited about it. But I was like, I have to do it, right? And so there's a version of you that's the same resistance that you're met with before cold showers. of like, nah, man, you've had a long morning. You had a team call. You had this going on. You're so busy today. Just push your workout for tomorrow. So I met that resistance and I was like, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyways. So what if you just work out for the next 30 days in a row? What would your life look like if you just worked out for 30 days? Like as long as you check off that box of working out for 30 days, it's going to be a different version of you. Your body's going to be different. That's of course. But what we're really working with is the mentality of I didn't want to do it. I did it anyways. I didn't want to do it. I didn't anyways. And what you start doing is actually developing better habits. And so and another example is, you know, maybe you are too anxious sometimes or you think too much or you're too emotional and you don't understand your emotions. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to journal how I feel and why I feel this way every single day. And there's going to be days when you're going to wake up and you're not going to want to journal. And you're going to be like, nah, not today. But you're like, you know what? That's my ego speaking. I'm going to journal anyways. And then you have another level of a breakthrough of starting to understand yourself a little bit better and understand your emotion a little bit better. And you're not thinking, you're not as anxious as you used to be, right? And so you meet resistance. When you start doing something consistently, day in, day out, day in, day out, you're going to meet resistance at some point in time. And the idea is how do I meet that resistance and go past the resistance? Because when you feel discomfort, you need to feel discomfort because there is no there's no benefit unless there's a little bit of a risk. There's no benefit unless there's a little bit of pushing past what you're comfortable doing. And I always say this, if you feel uncomfortable with doing a cold shower, with working out, with journaling, you are meeting the physical manifestation of your comfort zone. So to back off when you feel that resistance is to stay in your comfort zone, but to feel the resistance and go, oh, this is my comfort zone. I'm going to lean a little bit past it is you stepping outside of your comfort zone every single day. And for you to be a more expansive, different version of yourself in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a year from today, you need to have a little bit of applied suffering to find the edge of your comfort zone and push a little bit past it every single day, right? And so you have to do something that's past your comfort zone. How different would you feel if for the next 30 to 60 days, you just made yourself work out every single day? or you made yourself do the cold showers, or you made yourself journal every single day. How different do you think you'd be in 30 days? Like what is, what is the other side of you look like 30 days from today or 60 days from today when you just do that? Because the thing about growth, to have a significant amount of growth, like over the next five years, you're gonna have a significant amount of growth if you do this, of course, but it doesn't take a long time to have a quite significant amount of growth. You know, it's never too late to change. The oldest person who's ever gone through one of my courses, I love it, she was 93 years old. And I'm like, hell yes, I want to be you when I'm 93. Where I'm 93 years old, I'm like, I'm still not satisfied. I still want to grow. I still want to become better, right? And so it's never too late to change. It's never too late to turn it around. It takes pushing yourself out of your comfort zone every single, year, every single day. And that's how a new version of you is made and doing it consistently over and over and over again. I always say that your comfort zone is very similar to a rubber band. And so if you think of a rubber band, if you know, you're holding on to a rubber band, the further that you get from normal, you're pulling it and pulling it and pulling it and pulling it, the harder it's going to try to pull you back to normal. But if you pull a rubber band long enough and far enough, what happens? It snaps. And that is what we're trying to do with that comfort zone of yours, to snap out of your comfort zone and design a new version of you. So I want you to find one thing that is outside of your comfort zone, and I want you to do it every single day for the next 30 days. And that's how I want you to start off your new year. One thing and one thing only for those 30 days and see what version of you is on the other side of that. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you're out there, 
and you want to join a journey with myself and hundreds of other people to actually push ourselves out of our comfort zone and create a new version of ourselves in this new year, and you want to make 2023 the best year of your life, uh, we have a challenge, a 31 day challenge called Limitless 31. You can go to limitless31.com. There's a video up there that explains everything to you of how it works and the way it goes. Uh, I will be doing daily live lessons with you guys so I can answer your questions every single day, Monday through Friday for the entire month of January. Uh, inside of the challenge, I'll also be giving you guided meditations to help you with your daily meditations. I'll also be giving you daily journaling prompts to help you with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to have seven, all of us, every single person in the challenge is going to have seven things, seven small habits that we need to do every single day to improve our lives. And that's what we're going to be doing every single day for those 31 days so that by February 1st, we have a new version of ourselves because 80% of people give up on their New Year's resolutions by February 1st. And so our goal is how can we make sure that as a team, all of us together, we stick together and we make sure that we push ourselves for the entire month of January so that by February 1st, we've already got new habits and we're already on the right track for 2023. So if you want to learn more about it, go to limitless31.com. Uh, if you join before Christmas, if you listen to my voice since before Christmas and you join, uh, you will actually get $50 off of the price. Uh, so if there's a discount to be able to do it that way. So if it's before Christmas, uh, I would make sure that you rush over to it. If it is after Christmas, uh, you're going to go and get the actual normal price. So if you want to join us and learn more, once again, it's limitless31.com. I would love to see your face inside of the group and inside of the challenge. But with that, I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing day.